Ted, we've come back. Little Muriel. We're waiting for you. We're Ted's in-laws. Muriel. We're here to help. Leona. We're here at the invitation of Ted's wife. The dear one. Leona and Muriel are my sisters. Why don't they stay home and stop pestering me? I'm lucky they're able to come over and help me like they do. Ted, the dear one phoned you today. You never phoned the dear one back. The dear one shed tears when you didn't phone her back. The dear one is upstairs waiting for you. If you had any decency, Ted, you'd go right up to her. New cases? Huh? Uh, no, no. Uh, just the Mansfield case. Guess Uncle Chuck's seeing the family tonight. Pretty quiet today. Uh, yeah. Uh, say hi to the dear one for me. Oh.
<laughs> There's that dog again. It's so ugly. It's not even a dog. Why does he always bring it in an ugly bag? That's a funny looking dog. Doesn't look like a dog to me. Why are you pulling it in that? Can it walk? <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Careful, she bites. <laughs> Dear one, Happy's back from her walk, and dinner is ready. Okay. Grace, how's your day been? We told Ted you phoned. Muriel, the dear one hasn't been well all day. Mm. Dear one, don't you want some peas? They're very good for you. <gasps> Ted, do you have to eat only one thing at a time? Why don't you try a little meat first, then some potatoes, and then some vegetables? Leave him alone, Muriel. Why do you care how he eats anyway? I just thought... It doesn't make any difference. It all goes to the same place. Civilized people do not eat all their peas at once, then their meat, and then their potatoes. They alternate. Oh, oh, you two stop. And they don't cut up all their meat at one time either. You're disturbing the dear one. Leona, be quiet. But I would. You always have to pick on Muriel. Just trying to help you. You'll help me more by leaving your sister alone. This constant bickering is bad for my health. Take your time and rest a moment, dear one. And don't try to speak and eat at the same time. It takes too much effort. I'll never get well if my own sisters refuse to give me a little consideration. Don't worry about me, Grace. I don't pay attention to either one of them. Your eating habits have been a source of embarrassment to me for years. I would think that you would try to better yourself for my sake. It's called loyalty. Loyalty to your wife. I don't see how I'm being disloyal if I eat all my peas before I start my meat. Now look what you've done. Ted, you know the dear one can't take such harsh words. It's bad on the dear one's heart. Never mind. I know when I'm not wanted. I'll just go and eat in the kitchen. Don't anyone help me. Come back. Dear we don't want to eat without Come you. Back.